Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my lovely students. I hope you all are doing well at your home. Before I start this chapter, I would like to inform you that as you get the information related PT2, I hope you all start to complete your CW work, your grammar get textbook work and everything. So students who have not completed yet, they can start complete your work. And related grammar, if you have any doubts, you can write in the comment box so we can solve your doubts. Now students, in previous video, we have completed subject and predicate. What is subject? What is predicate in this chapter? Now in chapter 12, elements of a sentence. We have seen the subject is a noun or pronoun and predicate which tells what the subject does. Now today we will see what is subject and object in this sentence. So first of all all of you take your grammar get textbook open at page number 87. So we'll continue with subject and object. Now students, we have to identify what is subject and what is object in this sentence. There is another part of a sentence that we need to look at. It is object. As we know that our sentence start with a subject, noun or pronoun. Now this noun or pronoun is a subject. Now what is an object? Object is the one in which the action done by the subject and that received by the nouns in and. That and is known as object. Now look at this sentence so you can easily understand it. The girls clean the garden. Jaya washed the dish. Kusum helped her sister. Now look at here. The girls clean the garden. The girls is a subject, is a noun. Clean is a verb. The garden is another noun. But it's known as object. Is a another part of a sentence. It's known as object. Means the action done by the subject, the girls, and that received by the nouns, the garden. It's known as object. Jaya washed the dish. Jaya is subject. Washed is verb, is the action of Jaya. The dish is an object. Kusum helped her sister. Kusum is a subject, is a noun. Helped, action of Kusum, its verb, and her sister. Sister is a noun by the subject is received the action done by the subject is received by the noun sister so it's known as object so students it's also noun but this action which is done by subject and received by this noun it's known as object. Now look at here. In this sentence, the action done by the subject is received by the nouns in circle. Means in the previous all the sentences, we know that there is garden, dish and sister are circled. So here it's written that the action done by the subject is received by the nouns in circle 
they are the objects of this sentence so this garden dish and sister are objects in all these sentences what did the girls clean the garden object what did jaya wash the dish object whom did kusum help her sister object sister is object now look at the definition of object the entity that is acted upon by the subject is called an object the entity that is acted upon by the subject is called an object means the action which is done by the subject and which is received by an object are you getting students that the action which is done by subject and received by object the girls clean the garden the girls is a subject cleaned is the action of the girls so the action done by the subject the girls cleanly is done by girls and received by garden the garden so the garden is an object jaya washed the dish jaya is a subject what's the action of jaya to wash means the action done by jaya washing what which thing dish so these action received by dish that's why dish is known as an object kusum helped her sister kusum is subject what's the action of kusum to help her sister who is receiving kusum's help sister so that's why sister is known as an object so i hope students now it's clear to you now look at here the object receives the effect of the verb and is often placed after the main verb finite verb means the action which is received by an object it's often after the main verb like cleaned washed helped you know we have seen this sentence like jaya washed the dish so look at here jaya is a subject washed is a verb means action and dish the dish is an object now look at here that the subject the object receives the effect of the verb verb means washed and is often placed after the main verb means this object is often come after the main verb this is main verb washed so first washed then dish means the dish will come after washed so i hope students are getting the object does not perform the action like the subject it receives the action yes jaya has done the uh, action to wash so here object only received the action not done the action here who is doing action subject jaya so here jaya who is doing action is known as subject what's action done by jaya to wash and who is receiving this action dish kusum had to her sister kusum is a subject who is doing action is a kusum which action is done by kusum to help someone who is receiving the help of kusum her sister 
so her sister is known as an object so students i hope you understand what is subject and what is object now here i write another sentence Now look at here. Mina write a letter. Now, Mina is a subject. Write is the action of Mina. What's the action here? Mina's action to write. And what she is writing? A letter. So here, subject means who's doing the action? Mina. Which action she is doing? To write something and who is receiving this action a letter so the action which is done by subject and that action received by object so a letter is known as object the action which is received by some received by noun that noun is known as an object. I hope now students you understand the differentiate between subject and object. Both are noun. Remember these things. Both are noun. But the noun which is doing action it's known as subject and the noun which is receiving the action it's known as an object. Once again, I'm repeating the noun which is doing the action is known as subject and the noun which is receiving the action and it's always coming after action, after main action, it's known as an object. So students, I hope now in this chapter, you will you, you'll get very clearly that what is subject, what is predicate and what is an object. We have seen that subject is the part of a sentence which tells us what the sentence is about or for whom and who does the action. Predicate is tells us what the subject does whole sentence after. An object means who is receiving the action which is done by subject. So students, if you have any doubts related to this chapter, you can tell, you can write in the comment box so we can solve in the next video. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.